In this demonstration, I will show you how to install Windows 7 onto a single partition. In other words, install Windows 7 without using the default installation routine, which creates two separate partitions. To begin, we will need the following. A PC with a large gigabyte hard drive, the Windows 7 installation DVD, and any hardware drivers that you may need after you install Windows 7. It is important to mention that if you do attempt to install Windows 7 onto a single partition, you should back up your existing data before you attempt this procedure. Before we start the Windows 7 single partition installation, I would first like to show you what it looks like with Windows Vista and Windows 7 default installation. As you can see here, Windows Vista installation setup, I went ahead and selected custom and Windows Vista sees a blank hard drive. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on next. And to abbreviate the setup, I'm just going to boot up into the Windows Vista desktop. And now I'm going to go to the computer management by clicking on start, right clicking on computer and select manage. The UAC comes up. I'm just going to go ahead and click continue. And the computer management opens up. And I'm going to select disk management. And as you can see, it only sees one partition which is the C drive. And if you go into my computer, you can see the same thing. It's just the C drive and that's it. Okay, so that concludes the Windows Vista default installation. We're now gonna move on to the Windows 7 default installation. And now I've loaded the Windows 7 installation setup and I'm just gonna go ahead and click on custom. And as you can see, Windows 7 sees a blank hard drive, so I'm just going to go ahead and click on Next. And to abbreviate the setup, I'm going to load up Windows 7 Desktop. I'm going to click on Start. I'm going to right-click on Computer. And I'll select Manage. Okay, and now I'm going to select Disk Management. And as you can see, Windows 7 default installation sets up two partitions. One is known as the system reserve and the other one is known as the C drive. Now I'm going to go ahead and open up my computer. And my computer will only show the C drive. And this is because the system reserve partition is hidden. We can actually look at the contents of the system reserve partition by right clicking, selecting change drive letters, click on add, and usually I select the letter Z, but you can select whatever letter that you want. Click OK. The system reserve partition is now associated with the drive letter Z. If I go to my computer, I can see two drives, the C drive and the Z drive. I can also open the Z drive and currently everything is hidden because uh, that's the default uh, setting for Windows 7 so you're gonna have to unhide the files. And the system reserve partition as you can see contains bootloader information and that's about it. So the system reserve partition is about 100 megs. It's usually hidden. This type of split partition installation is similar to how Linux gets set up where the boot partition is about 100 megs. Uh, sometimes it's about 200 megs depending on what 
Linux distribution that you use. Anyways, I've gone back to hiding the system reserve files and now I'm going to go ahead and unmount the system reserve partition by clicking on remove and I'll say yes. Okay, so now we're back to the original Windows 7 default installation. Okay, now I'm going to proceed with the installation of Windows 7 onto a single partition. So I've loaded up the Windows 7 installation setup. And now I'm going to select custom and Windows 7 sees a blank hard drive. I'm going to now go to drive options. I'm going to now select new and I'm going to accept the default which should be the maximum hard drive size. I'll click apply I'll get this message. I'll go ahead and click OK. And Windows 7 will create two partitions, one of which is the system reserve partition, which is 100 megs, which is essentially your boot partition. And the other one is partition 2, which is essentially your C drive. So what we want to do is we want to merge those two partitions together. So the first thing we need to do is delete partition 2 and you'll get this message so just go ahead and click OK and you, you will notice that partition 2 is now unallocated space and partition 1 is still system reserve so we want to extend partition 1 by highlighting partition 1 and then we want to click on extend and then it should be the default value of the unallocated space so we'll just go ahead and click apply and you'll get this message so just go ahead and click OK and as you can see partition 1 now absorbs all of the unallocated space that we just uh, created and at this point we're done so just click on next and now I'm going to load up the Windows 7 desktop I'm going to go ahead and click on start, right click on my computer, and select manage. Click on disk management. And as you can see, we now have one single partition as the C drive. We no longer have a boot partition and a C drive. We now have just one single partition. Thank you for watching.